Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to our lunch and learn session. A very warm welcome to all of you today. My name is Nafis from Excel Academy. Today we have Mr. Iskanda and he will be sharing about uh, how to navigate your business with LinkedIn. So if you have any question regarding this topic, do leave your message in the comment section and Mr. Iskanda will answer them right after his presentation. All right, let's not wait anymore. Now I pass this floor to Mr. Iskanda. All right, thank you, Mr. Nafis. Right, and also thank you to Excel Academy for inviting me over this lunch and learn session. So today, what I'll do is that I'll share with all of you on how to navigate your business in LinkedIn. So please allow me to share my screen and let me introduce myself for a while. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Iskanda Daniel, and I'm a successful young serial entrepreneur being in multiple industries, such as, uh, such as in uh, healthcare industries. I do own uh, two uh, GP clinics uh, in automotive. I do have my own um, workshop and also uh, multiple other businesses like uh, in food and beverage uh, and also advertising uh, sectors. So uh, my area of expertise is basically on the uh, marketing research, planning and strategy business development, entrepreneurship, digital marketing, and digital sales. And these are just um, some of my clients, some of my big clients that I've served uh, from GLCs to MNCs to even uh, government agencies and also SMEs. So my uh, education background is basically, uh, I've just completed, recently completed my Master's of Business Administration uh, from UNITA. And uh, I'm currently pursuing my doctorate in business admin, uh, also in UNITA. So without further ado, I would like to start off a bit of a boring theoretical session, okay, before we move on to um, a bit of practical session, yeah? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, first of all, what are the benefits of using LinkedIn to grow your business? I think for most of uh, us, we knew that uh, LinkedIn is a place where professionals and also those in corporates, okay, they gather around uh, and would say that that would be their main social media that they are using. So first of all, in terms of lead generation, LinkedIn opened the doors for networking for you, yeah, and your company to gain another kind of circle and another kind of segment of market, such as those who are working in the corporate world. Okay, next would be for you to increase your exposure in terms of B2B, business to business. Okay, so having a LinkedIn company pitch is one more way to gain attention for your business. So not only your profile has to be active, but your company page has to be active in LinkedIn as well for you to get those uh, incre uh, increment of the exposure. So ladies and gentlemen, when we are talking about increment of exposure, we are also stating that uh, getting more people aware of our brand, okay, particularly for those who are actually having, uh, I would say, a professional segment okay uh getting aware of our brand yeah so this is one of the benefits uh, of linkedin that people uh, are usually looking at you can spend a lot of uh, your your ads um, money to uh, facebook twitter uh, instagram tiktok and so on but when it comes to a segment where you need to excel in terms of your business development and also apart from your uh, i would say sales Okay, LinkedIn is a way to go, okay? So most of the time, people are saying that, okay, for a business to scale up, we need a lot of sales. But when it comes to sales, we are always in a level of trust versus risk. Therefore, when people buy, it's not on how to increase the trust of your brand so that people can buy but it's about reducing the risk so that people can trust you and buy from you. And when we are stating that reducing the risk, therefore business development is something that you need to play with. Why, what I mean by business development is 
partnerships with other brands, other companies, and so on. So with this, LinkedIn is your best bet to play at. Next, the higher level of credibility, okay? Of course, LinkedIn is a great place to show off your business, not only your business, if you see on my slide on the right-hand side, to also to show off your accomplishment, means your personal accomplishments reflects your company and also your company's accomplishments reflects you. Next is filtered search results. So we knew that LinkedIn is built in a different way. For you to run your advertisement, the way to set up the ads, I would say LinkedIn ads, would be much more easier than uh, what, what we did in Facebook. But the way that you choose your market okay, or your audience is a bit different. You can detail or narrow your, um, your targeting okay, by filtering uh, on those job title industries and companies. Yeah? And last but not least is the quality business connections that you can get. Okay, so this is where uh, what I've mentioned before on the business partnerships. Okay, so now we've gone through the boring part of this session, but now I would like us to go through and immerse a bit of experience in what we can do with LinkedIn. Allow me to go to my LinkedIn account. So this is my LinkedIn account. Right? Apparently, before you diverge on, uh, I mean, before you, you wanted to put in your business in LinkedIn, you need to have an account. So that's a given, right? Okay. So first of all, the first step is you need to have your own um, profile in LinkedIn, right? And this is the dashboard that we will get in LinkedIn. You see on the top uh, menu bar, okay, we have home, my network, jobs, messaging notifications, and this is your account settings. Okay, let's start with my network is where you can find more people who, uh, who have connections within your connections, right? So this is a, a way for you to find or to reach out more uh, connections, yeah? More connections that have uh, connections through your network. Next is jobs. For jobs, for businesses that are hiring, jobs is the place where you can advertise your vacancies. It is quite different in, in a way that uh, you post job vacancies in, uh, say, Facebook or Twitter, because in LinkedIn, you might have better candidates, yeah? You might have better candidates applying for your position or your vacancies. Next is the messaging button where you can also find it over right hand side. Okay, so this is where you can uh, start to message people and also this is where they or anyone can message to you. All right, so let's not talk more on the, uh, uh, I would say, smaller functions, but let's talk about how you can grow your business with LinkedIn. It's very simple and we can complete this within, I would say, 30 to 40 minutes. Right. So we heard about LinkedIn ads, whereby you can advertise in LinkedIn. Of course, you need to pay a certain amount of money so that you can push your contents out to more people. Okay. It, it works the same like uh, Facebook, Google, uh, Twitter, uh, TikTok, and so on. But it is particularly for LinkedIn. Yeah, so before you go with LinkedIn ads, besides your personal profile, you also need your company page. So how do you create your own page? Is you can see over here, okay, just right beside your account setting, there's work button, okay, with the square icon, right? You can press here, okay. And look at the right hand side where you can find LinkedIn business services. Okay. Of course, there's a lot of services that can help you to scale up your businesses or your business. But let's focus 
on the bottom one. Create a company page. So this is where you need to click to create your company page. So I'll just bring you through, okay, since I do have my own company uh, account, uh, my, co my company page already. Okay, so now in order for you to create a LinkedIn page, okay, they will ask you uh, to choose your page type. You have company for SMEs, okay, you have showcase page where sub pages associated with existing page, meaning like, say, for example, you have a bigger, uh, you have a bigger, uh, you have a group of companies, then you have like sub companies uh, under that uh, group of companies, okay? And then you have educational institutions. So this would be for schools on uh, and universities, right? Say for example, I'll, I'll choose company. Okay, it's very simple. You need to put in the name of the business, okay? Say I'll put... Um, I'll just bring you through. I, I won't I won't proceed with my uh, my uh, creating page here. So say for example, it's a uh, okay pay. Oh, it's done for okay. All right, you can put in the name of the business, and it will reflect on the slug URL slug, whereby this would be uh, the URL for your uh, page. So you can change it here as well. Say you want to, um, you want to put in additional uh, names or numbers. You can put in, yeah. But it will reflect uh, on here. Okay. So this would be the the URL URL that you can give to your friends or connections so that they can see your page. Okay. Oops. Right. Then you can put in your website industry organization size and also organization type with all the logos and taglines so once you are done with all of these you can press create page and then you can put in more details such as the cover photo uh, backgrounds the postings and more detailed uh, info of your page right but this is so easy that you can do it yourself so I will bring you through uh, the process or the journey of creating your page. Instead, I'll bring you through on how to play with LinkedIn ads. So once you are done with creating your page, you have advertise function, button function over here, right on the top right. So you can press on this button. So ladies and gentlemen, okay, what you can do when you have created your page, first thing you need to do is to press on the create button. Okay. And then press on account. So you can change whatever your account name is. It's only for your reference. Okay. The currency of your, uh, the one that uh, you, you, you are going to spend. Say, for example, you're in Malaysia, then you just use NYR. Okay, then they will ask you to associate yourself with a LinkedIn page with your account. Okay, say for example, uh, you have done your page, say, uh, right, McDonald's, say for instance, yeah, and then press save. Once you are done, they will bring you through, okay, again, to this page or whatever page that uh, uh, once you are done, then they will bring you to perhaps this dashboard. Okay, so this dashboard is actually for my, uh, for that particular uh, ad account, whereby this ad account is assigned to a particular page. For example, this ad account is assigned to Le KP. So what we can do over here is that you can see there's three tabs. The first one is, uh, uh, is on the campaign groups, okay? Then we have campaigns, then we have ads. So what does this mean? Campaign groups is where you set the budget and schedule, okay? The campaigns is where you do your audience targeting and ads is where you put in your content and creative. So this is also similar with how Facebook and Google ads are, are, uh, are doing. So for example, in Facebook, okay, if it, if in LinkedIn, it, it is called as campaign groups. In Facebook, it is called as campaign. Then 
for LinkedIn campaigns, it is called ad set in Facebook. As for ads, in Facebook also they call it as ad. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, okay. So since we knew that campaign groups is for budgeting and schedule, so you can press on create campaign group. The first thing that you need to do is to for, is for you to create a campaign group. Okay. So now, okay, again, for the name, it's only for your reference so that you, uh, you can refer back if you have a lot of campaign that you are running, right? Okay. If you have a lot of campaign groups that you are running, okay, you can refer back to whichever the campaign group are. Say, for example, this would be on Le Kepi Christmas General Ads. Say, for example, yeah. Okay. Then I can put in my budget and schedule. There's a three type here. First one is for us to run continuously from a start date. And we can choose a start date. Then we can, uh, the next one would be a set a start date and end date. You can choose whenever to start and whenever to stop it. And last but not least, where, whereby you can start uh, set a start date and also the end date and you can put in the budget as well. All right. See, so for example, that I'm going to use this. Okay. Or in Facebook, it's called as daily budgeting. And okay. It will run continuously. Okay. Then press create. So now you see, we have two campaign groups now. Okay. New campaign group is the one that is by default is here. Now I've added, I've just added the Lucky Pay Christmas general ads. So what I need to do is that I need to click on the name of the campaign group. Okay. Then, all right, I can set the campaign. Okay. So once I've pressed the campaign, they will ask me to choose what campaign group that I, uh, I want to use it with. Okay. Since I have two campaign groups, okay. The first one would be the new campaign group. And the second one would be the Lucky Pay Christmas General Ads, right? Okay, so for example, I choose this one lah, okay? All right, so once I've done with uh, choosing my campaign group, just press on next. So this is where we are going to set up our campaign. So I'll bring you through, okay, the objectives, right? Okay, let's go one by one. The first one is brand awareness. It's about reaching as many people and pushing uh, as many times as you can, okay, uh, pushing the contents of your business as many times as you can to more people and as much people as you can go uh, to. So this is particularly good uh, for you to run uh, brand awareness uh, ads if and only if your objective is to gain awareness and not any conversions. Next, is consideration under consideration, whereby we have three objectives that we can choose with, okay? So the first one is website visits for you to bring people or for you to bring traffic to your website, okay? Next, we do have engagement, whereby you can increase social engagements such as comment, shares, and also like in your company page. So usually when you choose engagement, it has to be a content that is worth to be reading uh, at lah, okay? And we also have video views, okay? It's, it is actually for you to show your video to as many people as you can. We have on the conversion side, we have lead gen, okay? Or lead generation, talent leads, website conversions, and also job applicants, okay? Usually for lead gen and website conversion, you need to put in your uh, conversion tracking. For the sake of today's session, okay, we are not going to dive uh, very deep, okay? But particularly much what you can learn out of today is the fundamentals and you can just play with, right? Let's click on website visits to drive traffic to my website. Now, okay, we have to select our audience or target our audience. The first part would be on the location. Okay. Let's press on the pencil button. Okay. And the location, there's a box, drop box here. Okay. You can either choose 
people who are recently or permanently in this location or you can choose permanent location. The difference is for permanent location, you are targeting people who are living or working in that particular location. But for recent uh, or permanent location, you are targeting people who not only live or work there, but also people who recently visited that location. Okay, right. So now you can put in the location that you want to target. Say for example, Shah Alam. Okay. Right. Okay. Then, see, Clang. So on the right hand side, they have the forecast, uh, forecasted results and you can see how big is your target audience size when you put in more and more locations. Okay, they will also give you a forecasting, uh, forecasted uh, uh, budget that you are to spend and also uh, the impressions, okay, and CTR and also clicks, right? So once you have done with choosing your location, right? You can scroll down and you can see this one part okay your audience has their profile language set to what language okay usually for um for facebook okay you can choose like multiple uh languages but in linkedin you can only choose one okay so you choose whatever language of the uh, profile language that your audience has lah. okay you know your audience better okay once you are done with this, you can narrow down your targeting, okay? This is to ensure that you have, a, uh, this is to ensure that you have a better results, but provided with you are good in niching down your market segment, okay? So once you press narrow, right? You can see over here, there's two parts. The first one is audiences, okay? Use your data to retarget website visitors or to reach known contacts and accounts. Okay. But you also have this audience attributes for you to target certain criteria like job title, industry, or skills. Right. So choose whichever that are good for you. Right. And next, once you are done with this, you can press on save audience. So I'm going to put lunch, lunch and learn, okay. Sal Academy, 15 December, Oops, too much, 15 December. Yes, okay. I'm going to save this. So once I've done, I'm done with my, uh, my ad format, I'm oh, sorry, uh, I'm done with my audience. I'm going to go through ad format. So I'm just going to bring you through a, a bit on how this works. So single image ad is whereby you can only put in one image and it will reflect on the news feed. Meaning that in your LinkedIn, okay? So this is your news feed. If you scroll down, you can find, yeah, here, promoted, right? Okay, so this is LinkedIn ads, okay, right? Okay, uh, same goes with the video ad, but the difference is one is for image and one is for video, okay? But it will still reflect on newsfeed. Other than that, the format is basically the same thing, okay? Carousel is also is on the newsfeed, but this is where if you have multiple uh, products, okay, or services that you are, you, you are uh, providing, then it will be like a card whereby you can swipe it uh swipe it to the left or to the right okay so this tree reflects on the news feed okay then you have the text ad text ad would be on the right hand side over here you see get the latest jobs and industry news ad okay then you have spotlight ads okay you also have message ad whereby this will be reflected in your LinkedIn messaging, uh, messaging inbox. It will be reflected in people's uh, messaging inbox. You also have conversation ads, basically the almost the same thing. And last but not least is the event ad. 
Again, for the sake of today's class, okay, or today's session, we will be using single image app. Right. Scroll down. Then you have placements. Okay. Since LinkedIn is only consisting of LinkedIn and also its audience network, therefore, by default, LinkedIn okay, is grayed out because otherwise, there's, there's no use for you to use LinkedIn ads, right? Okay, so it will be grayed out because by, by default, you have to uh, place your uh, advertisement in LinkedIn. But you have the option to untick the LinkedIn audience network because this works on the third party publishers that partners with LinkedIn. So this is the same case uh, or the same thing for Facebook audience network and also for Google uh, Google partners or called as Google AdSense, right? You have the option for you to uh, for you to play with the brand safety, for you to exclude certain categories of mobile apps or sites if you are using the audience network. Say for example, stuff like uh, if if you do have like a corporate identity or brand identity that you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to push your content to website that contains 18 SX, such as violence, uh, pornography, or so on, then you can exclude the categories over here, right? Scroll down and you'll find the budget and schedule, okay? Put in the budget that you, you, you are going to spend per day. Say, for example, it's 60, okay? Right? You can see that basically, it has to be a minimum of 100 ringgit, okay? So this is the benchmark for LinkedIn. If you are planning to go with 30 ringgit per day, then LinkedIn is not for you, right? So let's go with 100 ringgit now, shall we? Okay, as what we have stated, uh, what, what we have done for our campaign group before, okay, we want our campaign to run continuously. Okay, scroll down and we can see part of bidding. Okay, and we can choose the optimization goal. Again, of course, you can also have the conversion here if you're choosing conversion, but you need to put in the tracking. Okay, and we have two types of bidding strategy. Okay, so maximum delivery means that if you have a budget of 100 ringgit per day, say for example, okay, they will, you are not capping any cost per result. Okay, it means that as long as your ads are getting results, you ignore what is the cost for you to get that results. However, it is the opposite for cost cap. Cost cap is where even though you have 100 uh, ringgit for your budget every day, you put a cap for your cost per result. Say, say for instance, uh, our optimization goal is landing page clicks, right? Okay, so cost per click, say for instance, yeah, cost per click. Okay, uh, let's say for maximum delivery, it's because we don't know how much it will cost us, right? But for cost cap, you determine what would be the maximum cost per click. However, as per what in Google, if, uh, if Google Ads, okay, if your uh, cost cap or your, uh, if you put in the maximum cost per result, okay, and it is below, uh, the the bidding the bidding price then what happened is that your ad might not even run okay so for a start okay for you in order for you to gain some data or a benchmark let's use maximum delivery again once you are done press next okay so now ladies and gentlemen we are just like 20 minutes in, but we are almost done with what we are doing. We have done the biggest part on the select campaign group and the setup campaign. Step number three is where you put in your creative or content. Okay, so what you need to do here is that you have two options. Say for instance, you are posting every day in your uh, social media or your LinkedIn. 
uh, a, a page, right? Okay, you can use your existing content. However, ladies and gentlemen, usually, as per all the social media advertisement, I would suggest you to go with creating the new advertisement. Okay, the name of this ad is optional. It's because it's for your reference. Okay, say for example, uh, to this class, right? Lunch and learn. Okay, 15 December, Excel Academy. Okay, this is just for my reference so that I won't mistakenly uh, run this campaign, okay? Introductory text, okay? Let's go with it. Hi, we are now partnering with Shopagram. Okay. And the destination URL, okay? I would put in my company, okay? okay Pay.com. Okay. okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Right, let's put in, before we go with the ad image, okay, let's put in the headline first, okay. Right, I'm just going to copy and paste everything so that you can see a uh, reflection on the right hand side. Let's upload one picture. Uh, Say for instance, okay, adding to library, select, okay, right. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what's the difference between this and this, okay? So let's see which one is at which one, okay? So I'm going to add just another one. Um, we will be updating you soon okay so now we can see the changes that will be reflected okay so headline is basically on the on the part there is the url so what we do ladies and gentlemen let me just share some tips with you your main copywriting has to be at the description side, whereby for your headline is usually for the call to action, right? So what are the example of the call to action that is good for you to use is basically you have to give a subconscious instruction, okay? Let's avoid some of the weak uh, CTAs, okay? Such as if you have any inquiries, please contact us. So what will happen is that people will only contact you if they have inquiries and if they want to ask something but not to buy. So give them an instruction, okay? Come, let's be a part of us today, for example, okay? Or our offer is very limited, okay? Subscribe to our package before 20th of December, okay? So I'm going to put it this way, yeah? Our offer is limited to 20 slots. Okay, 20 slots. Okay. Subscribe to our package before 20th December to enjoy 50% off promotion. Okay. So what I did to the CTA is for me, okay, is for me to put in the scarcity and also urgency. And last but not least, I'm telling them, hey, come subscribe to our package, okay? So that is what I'm telling them. And subconsciously, if people are seeing your advertisement, right, and they don't want to buy, okay, and that's fine, okay? Of course, you might say that, oh, I think it's better for us to have more leads, but again, you can have as many leads as you want, but if they are not a quality lead, then you are just wasting your time for people who might be really interested in buying or subscribing your
packages. Okay. As for the description, since we can only use 300 uh, words, okay, I would usually uh, suggest people to go with a framework called as Pasta. So this framework is basically on the problem, agitate, solution, testimony, and action. However, Pasta will take a lot of the characters numbers. So what we can do is that we can focus on a hybrid or uh, a shortcut uh, of the framework whereby we will be using the PSA, okay? Or let me uh, re-emphasize it in a way. Let's put on uh, the copywriting, start off with their problem, the problem that your market is facing, then propose the solution whereby there's features, advantages, and benefits, and also call to action, right? Say for instance, okay? Feeling worry about your position since your clicks can complete 20 times, okay, 20 times faster, the complete task given by your boss 20 times faster, okay. That's a problem that they are facing. So they are feeling worried, uh, feeling worried, yeah, feeling worried about their position because they are very slow in handling their task given by their boss, okay. And not only that, their clicks, okay, uh, the, the clicks of the, the person, the my market segment, is actually doing works much more faster than uh, the person itself, okay. So this is the problem, right? Then propose a solution. Do not worry, okay? Let, let us help you, okay? Through this hard time, okay? We offer you, okay? A complete course of Microsoft Excel from beginner to advanced, okay, right? With only, what, what is the payment amount, okay? RMXX, for example. So now, when you offer the solution, you need to also input the features, advantage and benefits, okay? So I'm going to put in the features, okay, double enter, Oops, we are moving towards the 300 characters, okay? But I've done the problem and the solution. So if it is not enough, just straight away go with the CPA, okay? 30% off or oh, 20 slots. Get yours. get yours now okay right and last but not least ladies and gentlemen at the call to action part okay you can put a button okay here and there are lists that you can choose apply download view code learn more sign up subscribe whatever it is yeah so i'm going to put in subscribe okay since just let's just put it this way lah okay uh, imagine that this is a subscription package yeah so now i am putting in the subscribe button over here so once i am done ladies and gentlemen create press create button okay and now your advertisement is almost done what's left is for you to review and launch press next now, this is where you need to review, okay? Review all the stuff that you have set up, okay? The objective, website visit, and then which campaign group that you are choosing, okay? 
right the audience okay the ad format and the placements okay budget and also again the schedule and bit type so bit type uh we have chosen just now is uh i think maximum uh maximum delivery right okay then we di we didn't even put our conversion tracking okay and now okay our uh our cta and now we can launch the campaign okay right okay so now we are done with setting up the linkedin ads of course again ladies and gentlemen this is only a mock-up training it shows you how easy for you to set up your linkedin ads and to scale your business using linkedin we have a lot of other uh, functions over here but what i've just shown you is basically the basics on how you can run your advertisement in LinkedIn within just few minutes. Of course, this is a session where I am tutoring you. So it takes a bit of time, extra time for me to set up the campaign. And I'm pretty sure for you, ladies and gentlemen, once you are at this page, it will take only around 10 to 15 minutes for you to complete your LinkedIn ads. A tip for you, is for you to ensure that you have the uh, ad creative and also ad contents ready before you are running your advertisement. So that it will actually help you to finish up the setting within 10 to only 15 minutes, right? So that concludes our LinkedIn ads. Okay, that concludes our LinkedIn ads. And most of the time, for businesses, we can push our content through LinkedIn ads and also to company page, okay? But ladies and gentlemen, there's also another tip how to scale your business or how to scale your organization up to next level, but it is through you. It means that the contents that you are pushing from your personal uh, account, okay, your personal uh, LinkedIn account reflects your company page. So this shows that, okay, there are three ways for you to scale up your business in LinkedIn. The first one is through LinkedIn ads. Second one through company page. And third one is from you or from individuals. So as for your personal LinkedIn, what you can do is to ensure that your content is worth reading uh, for, lah, okay? So if you see over here, right? Okay, this is my account. Okay, I have around 1,200 followers. Okay. And let's see my postings. Okay, show all activity. Okay. Right, so this is one of my my posts. Okay, uh, it receives around 23 or 24 likes. Okay, 11 comments. But I do have a lot of other, um, other uh, contents, yeah? Contents that actually reaching to a lot of people. Okay, let me just post it. Let's see the post. Okay, 511 impressions, 2000 impressions. Okay, my results for my MBA on semester one. Okay, um, 9000, uh, basically 9000 impressions, 1700 uh, impressions. Then uh, this one received around 132 likes and 20 comments. Just uh, on my posting. So I've received a lot of followers based on my postings. Lah. So basically that's it. Lah. Okay. And uh, yeah, this one you can see I got around 1,700 likes and 40 comments, 30 reposts with 84,000 impressions. So ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it's not only about the accomplishment that you can uh, post. LinkedIn is all about motivating others on how to get the same results that you're getting or the same achievements that you're getting. So if you can provide them with the content that they can learn and can motivate themselves, then you might be the next LinkedIn key opinion leaders. So ladies and gentlemen, so that is all from me. I would now 
uh, pass on to our MC for the day. Okay, and let's see if we have any questions uh, from the floor. Okay, thank you, Mr. Iskandar. So, if there are any question for today's session, Okay, we do have a, a comment from uh, Miss Chow Fong Yi. So she's asking, "What's the duration to run the campaign?" Um, we can, we have like three types uh, that we can. Uh, I mean, not really three types lah, but two two kind of types uh, on to set up the duration. The first one you can run the ca uh, the campaign uh, continuously, meaning that whenever you feel you want to stop, you can stop, or you can put a start to end date. So it can run from, I don't know, seven days or 10 days or 30 days, or it can run the whole year. But again, it depends on the strategy that uh, you or your company is using. So uh, there's no definite uh, answer for your question, but perhaps usually for you to test whether your, um, for you to test so that you can gain uh, data, whether the ads is actually uh, effective or not, usually, on my end, I'll put it at three days, but maximum seven days for me to track the data. Because when it comes to cost per result, right? When you first start your uh, advertisement, it'll go like high, and then it will start to uh, will start to reflect like you know going a bit down, 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 down. So we want to see what's the what's the flaw of the the cost per result that we can get. Okay, any anybody got no. Got any question? Okay, uh, so stay. Anybody don't have any questions? So, all right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Iskandar, for the great sharing. Also, thank you everyone for joining our lunch and learn session. Uh, so, so, if you missed today's session, you can watch this lunch and learn session in our Facebook and YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to like and follow our social media platform for more information. With that, Thank you and goodbye. Have a nice day. Scandal. Oh yeah, we do have another question, right? Yeah. Uh, do we need to subscribe to Sales Navigate? Yes, most of the time we need to uh, subscribe for for Sales Navigation lah. So that's another function in uh, that's another solution in LinkedIn Business where it is called as uh, Sales Navigation, if I'm not mistaken. So this would actually uh, you need to subscribe to to a package from uh, LinkedIn. So. Basically, what they provide is like uh, some email credits and so on for you to uh, use. But it is basically not what, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the LinkedIn ads lah, in a way. So in my opinion, right, uh, you can use the sales navigation. But for Malaysian market, uh, for you to approach strangers, I think that's a little bit uh, off. Okay, we've seen a lot of uh, foreigners uh, approaching Malaysians and they're going to the uh, messaging box. Uh, Hi, I'm, I'm Prakash from uh, XX uh, company from India. We would love uh, to have you uh, on our session. We can have a talk on our 
uh, app development and so on. So, particularly, right, it's actually annoying. It's a bit annoying, right, uh, to be honest. So, this case happens a lot with the insurance agents last time, whereby a lot of people uh, tend to uh, run away from, from insurance agents just because of they are so annoying. So, the same thing happened again, but now with LinkedIn. And that is what we call as cold, uh, cold approaching. Okay, it can be cold calling or cold emailing or cold messaging as well. So I would suggest if it comes to anything uh, based on the cold approaching, let's try to avoid that one first and let's have people to come to us so that it's, it's a better, uh, we are doing a better, uh, spending our quality time for a quality uh, leads, for better leads. Hmm. Okay, uh, thank you, Mrs. Kanda. So, do we have any question? Okay, all right, Mrs. Kanda. I think that's all for today. Thank you for, for the sharing. Okay, so thank you and goodbye.